Russia invaded Ukraine's Crimea region two weeks ago today in retaliation after protesters forced Ukraine's pro-Russian president to flee the country. Most people in Crimea are of Russian descent, and so many there welcome the Russian invasion. Elizabeth Palmer met some of them in Crimea. Meet Sergei Aksyonov, leader of the drive to hand Crimea to Russia. Just two weeks ago, he was virtually unknown, the head of a political party few had even heard of. Today, he's the new prime minister. How did he do it? Well, let's just say he had some help. Thousands of Russian soldiers who rolled across Crimea, blockading the Ukrainian military in their bases before they realized what was happening. Aksyonov wouldn't speak to us, but his deputy would. Dmitry Polonsky said Vladimir Putin only sent in the troops because Aksyonov asked him to. What did he write in the letter that he wrote to President Putin? After the riots in Kiev, he told us, Aksyonov appealed for help to Russia to protect lives and keep the peace. Putin was only too happy to oblige. Aksyonov's armed militias, which he'd been recruiting for some time, got Moscow's backing to whip up pro-Russian sentiment. <laughs> On February 27th, emotional crowds gathered in front of the parliament. Aksyonov showed up and waded in as if to calm the situation, but in fact, he was on his way into the building to seize power. In short order, he took independent television stations off the air. He cancelled all flights except those to and from Moscow and launched an inflammatory referendum campaign. Russia! The governments of America, Europe and Ukraine say they're not going to respect the results of the referendum, that they are illegal. How does that affect you? We're not here to deliver what America wants, he said, but what the Crimean people want. So don't threaten us. But the real threat to Aksyonov's men, Scott, are local Ukrainian leaders. At last count, about a dozen of them have now disappeared. The latest, the head of the military hospital here. He was taken away in handcuffs tonight by armed men. Nobody knows where he is. We talked to some of his employees a short while ago. They said they're terrified. And the vote to secede from Ukraine is scheduled for Sunday. Liz Palmer, thanks very much.